Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have Bubbles here. We're going to be doing some fun, colorful leopard print art. Let's go on ahead and get started. So to start off, we're going to need some supplies. So we need a mixing bowl and a stir. I've got some Q-tips here. We need some foil. And lastly, the dye. So I'm going to be using Crazy Liberty for the color and Bijan Black for the black. So because this is a colorful leopard print, I'm going to use pink and I'm going to dye the whole entire tail. So I'm just putting some of this pink dye in a bowl. And then I'm going to use that paintbrush to paint it into the whole tail. So once we've painted the entire tail, I'm going to take that tin foil from earlier and I'm going to wrap the whole tail so that when she gets excited or wax her tail, it's not going to rub the pink dye on the rest of her body. So now that we're done with the tail, we can move on to the body. Here I'm using Bijan Oriental Black, which is not specifically made for dogs, but it is ammonia free and it uses water as the developer. So I'm going to show you how to mix it. So it comes in a powder form, which I'm putting right into the mixing bowl. And then it also comes with its own little measuring cup and I just add water and then I'm going to put it in the bowl and just mix it all up. You can see here that it starts off a whitish color with a very clumpy consistency so you just want to keep stirring until you get all those clumps out and make more of a foamy paste. Gradually it will turn this green color and then eventually it will turn a darker brown green. And right about the time that it starts to look more on the brown black side is when it's okay to start applying it to the hair. So now I have my q-tips and I'm just taking one of them, dipping it in the dye, and I'm just making three little blobs that kind of come together to make a circle. So you'll notice I'm kind of rolling the q-tip around and that's to kind of press the dye into the coat so that it fully saturates it and it's not just sitting on the very top layer.
So I'm just going to repeat this over the main section of the body. The good thing about the leopard print is that it's not symmetrical, so you don't have to worry about any of these pieces really being perfect. So when I'm done making those little circles out of blobs, I'm just going to continue the pattern with a couple of dots just going down the leg. So I'm going to start filling in the center of the leopard print spots by using the applicator tip from the actual dye. And then I'm going to go back with a q-tip and rub it into the coat for a more vibrant color. So once we work that color in as much as possible, we're going to wait 30 minutes and then I'm going to wash and dry her. Now she's washed and dried and this is an optional step, but I'm just going to paint her nails with this clean color brand, which I found on Amazon. A tip for painting dog nails and dark nails in particular is try and use a metallic or a foil because it'll cover the black well and it'll dry quickly. So here we have bubbles, washed, dried, and nails painted. I did leave the other side blank so maybe I'll do some funky colorful animal print on the other side. And as always, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!